in school. What were you famous for? My role was the famous he went to school with us. I was the invisible. No one noticed I was there. I felt like a ghost walking the halls. Nobody seemed to see me. I remember in 12th grade a girl turned around to me and said, What's your name? And then asked to see my lecture notes. The shitty thing is we had been going to the same school since kindergarten. We had a dozen or so classes together over the years. She didn't even know my name. Felt so insignificant. I remember one time toward the end of 8th grade I was called on to answer a question and a girl sitting in front of me was like are you new? And the girl next to her was like wait yay when did you get here? I told them I had been there the entire year and the two years before. What's even weirder to me is that I'm not especially quiet. I was probably one of the more active participants in that class and they still had no idea that I was there the entire year. My college graduating class included a now retired speaker of the house. Even guys who were in his major don't remember him from back then. I don't know what country you're from but in my country the speaker of the house is a relatively unnoticed and unintrusive force in the parliament most of the time so this checks out haha. -ha. During last months of my college I literally heard that it looked like I didn't exist. I literally didn't care about others. Getting knocked on my head before school one day and having a seizure. It was before they opened the doors so everyone outside saw what happened and then the ambulance came and I was awake but I was blacked out and my friends told me I tried to fight the paramedics off. I don't remember anything from hitting my head to coming to in the ambulance with some type of amnesia. I didn't know who I was or where I was and I was strapped down so this made me panic even more and I think I tried to spit on the paramedics so they covered my face with the oxygen mask and I'm pretty sure it wasn't turned on. I couldn't breathe. It was one of the scariest moments of my life and it still kind of haunts me to this day. When I woke up they didn't try to tell me what happened. They didn't say shit to me to try and calm me down. They just kept telling me to be quiet and calm down. How the fuck can I calm down when I'm strapped down and don't know what the hell is going on dot 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 anyways. I was the seizure kid. I also had a seizure in high school so I guess that would be mine too. Not that it would be school wide famous or anything. But it did apparently scare the shit out of everyone in the room. Mine was a bad reaction to an antidepressant. I started so I didn't have a head injury or anything but I did also argue with the paramedics and try to stop them from taking me away cause I was so disoriented lol. In grade school one day I pretended I was from the future, for shits and giggles, but then over time it kinda turned into a thing. Eventually it got to the point where it would do more harm than good to admit I was not from the future. I don't recall how it happened, I just remember wishing people would stop asking me if I was from the future because I didn't want to talk about that anymore. Not much different from Potato Guy in retrospect. My nickname. My name is Adam. My parents were happy because they named my brothers and I with impossible names to shorten into nicknames, but in my case they were wrong. I grew up in the 1980s and you will no doubt understand why that's relevant when you hear what the other kids decided to call me. They shortened my name Adam into AIDS. My nickname for 40 years has been AIDS. You must have eyes like mine. Drew P.F. I was once told my eyes make me look like I either just woke up or like I've been up all night. It's because of my eyes people were always accusing me of being high and or drunk A. Eh? F. I didn't do either back in high school. Same. I had people stop me outside of school and ask for pot like once every couple of months. I didn't touch pot till end of senior year. There were two times in college when I ran into girls in my freshman dorm building and they were like holy shit you're high as shit and I was like no I'm just perpetually tired looking I don't even smoke. My school removed soda machines. So I became known for selling Coca-Cola relatively quickly. Made decent money too. Some teachers were in on it and supported me because all vending machines had Coke products removed. 
not just student machines. Coke dealer, my daughter used to sell candy bars and one of her teachers asked where she was getting her candy bars from my daughter didn't have a particular place where she would get them sometimes Costco. Smart and final. Right aid. CVS basically whoever had the better sale. So since she didn't have a quick answer for him he was like you know I make more than you. Really that's what you tell a ninth grader selling candy? Shit I hope he makes more than a kid does selling candy bars at school. Anyways I thought that was inappropriate to tell a student. Mind you my daughter would give a candy bar here and there so she could sell candy bars in his class. My high school had a Pepsi contract for anyone who thinks this is weird. U.S. Of course, my high school had a contract with Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. They sold both of those for lunch. My husband went to high school in San Francisco and his school had one with Wendy's and I forgot what other company. Damn. We didn't have actual restaurants. Although I could totally see something like a subway in my old school like my college had. My college had a Starbucks in it and they gave us a punch card like a buy five drinks get a free one type of deal. Your school was a combination Pizza Hut Taco Bell. It's interesting because where I live McDonald's is also very involved with the schools. They host events like let's say Saturday night from 4 9 p.m. Whatever McDonald's makes they will donate a percentage to a particular school. So Monday night will be one school and Tuesday night another school. Some teachers go help at McDonald's to support their school. <laughs> Exterior, small town middle America. Snow falls gently past the street lights as shoppers hurry by festively decorated windows. A group is singing carols on the corner. Pan to a well-dressed woman hurrying to get to a tree lot before it closes. She trips and is caught by a pair of strong arms. Julian, well look who's home for Christmas. It's city girl all grown up. Nice. They've made that same movie roughly 13,793 times over. Usually starring some 45-year-old who spent two years on some shitty TV show, trying to play a 28-year-old. Formula writing at the best. She either is recently widowed, divorced, owns an antique store, needs Christmas cheer, is the only one with Christmas chill. Bay or a flow. Being the school hacker dude, my daughter found out 20 years later when a retired teacher turned substitute took attendance in her class, got to her name, said I remember that last name. He took over all the computers in the school. The rest of the class turned to look at her wide-eyed. That was when she started to learn about her dad's past. Edit. Words. So was I. What did you do? Set the Wabak machine to the mid-90s. Before the internet was everywhere and everything. Before graphical operating systems were mainstream. When we still used screaming robots to communicate over telephone lines. To answer your question. Pretty much whatever I wanted, security was non-existent and network setups were new outside of corporate settings. Our school got outfitted with hundreds of IBM 386s connected via token ring and nobody really understood it all. I was one of the few kids that grew up with and around computers so it was almost second nature. Learned a whole lot about networking those years. Anyway, I could view slash move slash delete anything. Regardless of user, managed to lock out the entire keyboarding class for like a week, had the library's tractor-fed printers dump their umpteen thousand page boxes of paper on the floor. There were four of them, and the traditional hide the games on the server. No doom, only one megabyte of RAM. I'd earned similar fame on the local BBCs back when. War dealing, calling via payphone on a battery-powered acoustic coupler. All the geek silliness. I got that reputation at one point in middle school too. I literally just found a single command you could enter in CMD that could shut down any computer in the school. Got called into the vice principal's office for it and got out of it because I was friendly with her. I told her I was messing with the website hacker typer which was partially true because I'd mess around on that site a lot. A friend and I were in the library on the computers once when we decided to change the browser home to 1227.com and then we 
logged into his account to see if it worked, lol. We were going to do every computer if it did, wasn't until years later that I realized all our student computer logins were tantamount to virtual machines. Not being there, my yearbook teacher nicknamed me the missing link, with an accompanying picture and caption in the yearbook. My senior year one missed 93 days of school, making my total well in excess of 200 days for high school. The summer I graduated the school board implemented a formal policy where any student who missed more than two weeks in a semester had to repeat the semester. I was absent just as much from high school, but I wasn't famous for my absences. I was famous for being crippled. I was the only kid in the school out of 2,000 kids who was in a wheelchair, so pretty much everyone knew who I was, the guy in the wheelchair, but almost no one actually knew me. But yeah like 95% of the time at school, I was ignored, ostracized entirely by everyone, and 5% of the time I would get bullied. Either way. It was an unenjoyable experience and I developed an attitude of just not wanting to go to school. I would miss 2-3 days per week, every week, all 4 years of high school, so I was absent basically 50% of the time. Under normal circumstances the school would have sent someone like me to truancy court, but they wrote off my absences as being because of my disability and never took any action against me or even said anything about it all four years. I was thin and had huge breasts. Got poems written for me because of this. Sadly even teachers noted and joked about it. I went by the nickname Jessica Rabbit. This seems creepy looking back. Kids are, unfortunately, going to say stupid things. Even if at the time it was flattering, it was uncalled for. The teachers on the other hand. That's just all around creepy and entirely unprofessional. Oh it wasn't flattering at all. I felt no one cares about me and every guy went crazy. It became better at the university with peers. Teachers on the other hand. Well, pretty much the same. Once a paper with our grades got out and instead of my name the professor wrote Boob girl, I am okay now with all this but if anyone will pull these things with my daughter I will rip his head off. D. I hope that professor was terminated. I'm glad you are teaching your daughter about the value of self-worth and to not take that kind of treatment from others. It was never acceptable. It's 2021. The bigotry has to end. Let me premise this with no one was hurt, and my teacher fell out of his chair laughing. I was a techie in high school. During a specifically awful rehearsal of a show the school was putting on, I was working lights up in the balcony as our tech teacher, who couldn't take the musical disaster anymore, sat below at the director's booth. At some point he sarcastically said into our headphones, Someone please just throw a wrench at me. So, I did. Honestly, it's weird when you think you largely fly under the radar only to find out that everyone in your year knows you for being a nerd. Especially in a year when I notoriously did not put any effort into school and was busy with other hobbies. Like, thanks I guess but why do you gossip about me so much? I was called a trash picker and garbage boy in school. My family was dirt poor BC of bad financial skills. Father was school's janitor and mother often between jobs. They spent all their money of credit fueled vacations and shopping sprees so I had to eat from trash when we were poor but made too much for discount lunches. Used to be the only way I had anything was to pick from the trash. Trapper keepers were highly prized and I picked mine from the trash and fixed the binder clips. In high school I had a dozen Game Boys when everyone got Game Boy Colors and threw their old ones out. Probably why I am a scavenger to this day and sitting on a recliner chair that I found on the curb. <laughs> Senior year of high school I moved from the west coast to a small town in East Tennessee. I was known as the California girl. And some people called me Collie or California. They made fun of my accent in a friendly way. But once they learned I didn't go to church they stopped trying to be friendly with me. Not as interesting as some other comments but that's my story. 
I snorted cocaine off my desk in several classes freshman year. Then I discovered weed and never did coke again. Now I don't even drink. Guess I got all the chemical experiences out of my system early. That's not something you want to be known for. Rumors spread fast in high school. Haha. <laughs> Surprisingly, I never got busted for anything during school. I'm from a small town and there wasn't much to do so a lot of us just got high in various ways to pass time. This was a long time ago and I've since kicked all the habits and I'm reasonably successful now. Sounds like me, but it was off science class counters. Also drug and alcohol free and reasonably successful. Funny how much I wish my small town were still a small town, though. I was also the quiet kid, but to a different level. I never spoke in some classes. I remember one of my teachers said that her favorite student was her favorite student because he never talks. Half the class looked at me, the other half looked at the other quiet kid. I also had a class where I never spoke, until the last day. My teacher was so excited that I actually spoke for once experienced that though. A teacher forgot I was in the class. I had the same name as another kid. Let's say it's Joe. The teacher said Joe can you come to my desk. Me and him looked at each other, wondering which one of us she wanted. Eventually the other Joe said which one. Then the teacher said, there's another Joe in here. <laughs>